Hey guys, Quiv the Lazy Geek here and today we are having another beautiful blue sky right before the evening. It's still pretty windy but I'm sure we'll be able to do some things. So today I'm going to try to take a little galaxy picture. So I've taken quite a few galaxies from here this season. I never thought it was possible but we're going to try for the Sunflower Galaxy. I actually took some images of the Sunflower Galaxy like one year ago from a dark zone, like a relatively dark zone one hour away from here roughly by car but I had taken them with my uh, monochrome camera and I only managed to get uh, luminance images and not red green blue before the uh, clouds rolled in so today will be my revenge hopefully except that it will be from my balcony here in Tokyo but you know let's give it a try and see what it does so just like last time I'm gonna use Nina to capture this and I'm gonna use the same equipment the same exposure time the same everything and I think tonight is gonna be better than last time uh, less wind fewer clouds and we're having a beautiful sunset right now And you might have noticed I've taken out the schmidt cassegrain Grand Telescope, my C9.25. I just like Venus is right there. I just wanted to have a look at it and my is it beautiful. It's like a small sliver of a moon. And you know, I'm going to actually try to capture that with a sharp cap while I'm at it. I have my 178 MC uh, from ASI here. And oh, I just want to look at it a bit more before I do that. It's just isn't it amazing like we're looking at a planet in our solar system with huge mirrored telescopes and it's like it's like a moon and it's uh, I don't know I have no words it's just too beautiful okay okay let, let, let me go and and take some capture of that okay I'm centering a bright object here it's almost immediately in the center of the camera which is good it means my scope is somewhat decently adjusted we're gonna pick up the big gain a little bit and I'm going to try and focus that so you can see that okay I need to finish my focusing movement with a counterclockwise movement um, because that way the mirror is actually pushed against gravity um, it's very hard to focus on planetary. I, I have so much trouble and this thing has a central obstruction so I cannot use my uh, Nina contrast based autofocus to try and and do it uh, but pff, I don't care I'm not trying to take a great picture. You can see how Venus is just dancing around here um, that's one, one because I'm like almost touching the tripod and moving at the same time but two it's because the atmosphere effects are so strong we can even see one side is like red the other is blue so we get a very obvious atmospheric uh, diffraction but this little sliver of a thing there is Venus and I just find that completely amazing now I didn't even I wasn't planning on doing any planetary so I grabbed the closest USB cable that I had uh, which is USB 2 so it's uh, we're not going to get super high speed uh, results but look at that isn't that isn't that amazing I don't know I, I can't get over about how crazy all of this is and I'm just gonna take like a quick uh, quick video with raw 8 and then I can process it later in uh, in sharp cap we're gonna center a bit on uh, Venus Ooh, it's jumping around this is so much fun where are you I need to center you I hope the mount will actually Whew, it's I forgot how difficult it is to center these objects when you don't have any plate solving okay I'm not touching anything oh it's dancing the wind too oh well you know let's Go for it. I'm just going to take a bit of a larger field of view. I don't care if I miss frames here and there. That way there's more tolerance to tracking. And let's just do a, a quick ca capture of like, yeah, a thousand frames. I'm not looking for a great picture. It's amazing to see this little sliver of light. It's not even completely dark out yet. And we can see that. And I, ah, I'm just always so so amazed 
by, by everything related to astronomy and astrophotography. And I'm now looking at the beehive cluster. It's one of the issues of a roof balcony like that is that I cannot image on one side and observe on the other because any movement I do affects my imaging because of the, uh, the wooden plank that really I'm standing on. Uh, but just now when it's not even dark so I cannot really image, I'm looking at the beehive cluster. And again, it's, it's just amazing. I, I love, you know, watching objects as well. I love visual. I just prefer like from Tokyo in particular Astro imaging will just get you more results, but uh, when I go further away from Tokyo, I'll actually image more than otherwise. And I really love, by the way, this combination of the AZ Mount Pro from IOPTRON and the C9.25. Uh, they're very well matched. It's kind of at the limit of the mount, but it still works great. And it gives me a good aperture with a great portability for the mount and a decent price too. I'm very, very, very impressed by this uh, AZ Mount Pro that has also an internal battery. So I don't even need to plug it in. And man, is it beautiful. Uh, anyway, I'm going to put that away. I'm going to go inside and uh, we're going to... Uh, once uh, this is ready, I'm going to start the sequence. I mean, once it's darker, I'm going to start the sequence and uh, I'll see you tomorrow to see what the uh, end results look like. So here we are the day after. So uh, I had to throw away half of my frames, uh, around 350 left or out of uh, 700. But we had good seeing, of course clouds came in the way, uh, bad stuff happened. I woke up just in time to cover the equipment before it started raining and that was unplanned. Um, so you know, tons of th little details, but overall I think we got a good picture which you should be seeing now. I'm actually using drizzling on this picture thanks to the dithering that I applied and um, the scene conditions were so good that I can actually use drizzling uh, this time it does make a little difference in terms of the overall processing and another thing that was good about this uh, session was that it's the first time I actually use in practice the overshoot autofocus method or the overshoot focuser handling method uh, for backlash compensation and it works great I know my, my backlash is around 95 steps I, th I said the overshoot compensation to 150 in the N direction and it just worked it was awesome so that was great and we did uh, get I think a pretty pretty decent result uh, it's gonna be good weather hopefully tonight as well so I think I'm going to do another night on the same target and maybe another after that and, uh, and uh, to see what final result we can get after several nights of data. Um, let me know the comment if, comments if you like this video. This kind of video takes actually a lot of time to make, uh, much more than I expected in terms of editing and you know taking multiple shots with the cameras, time lapses, that kind of stuff. But it's a lot of fun to make at the same time. Uh, I hope you enjoy this kind of video. Let me know if you do. If you don't, also let me know. Always interesting. Uh, I've seen two main requests recently, like the. Um, uh, image exposure time, the optimal exposure time explanation, and also the flat wizard uh, explanation in Nina. Um, I have not used any of those two features yet, which is why I haven't felt comfortable making a video about those. But I think tonight, before I make my image and stage sessions, I'm, I'm going to try out the flat wizard. I'm going to record that, so we'll see uh, what happens. And, you know, I have tons of uh, plans as well. I think I'll also do a starting astrophotography uh, playlist um, from a lazy geek's point of view and by lazy geek you you know that by now I mean like optimized geek uh, because we all know that being lazy is an art it's a science and it's all about optimization and this is what this equipment here um, is built for so I might do a sequence uh, a series on that so if you think that's a good idea let me know if you think it's not a good idea also let me know and 
also of course do not, do not forget to like to subscribe to this video uh, to add any comments um, that you want uh, below and see you next time